John Moran is back on Tuesday night. Um, this is after serving, of course, the 25 game suspension. It will be Ja versus Zion, which will be a little blockbuster for you on his way back. And Morant spoke to the media for the first time on Friday. Uh, he said kind of like what you were just saying, Boogie, that basketball has been, it's always been there for him. It's been his therapy, that it's part of his life and that taking that away was really hard for him. It made his time more difficult. Uh, he also said that he knows that the words he says about taking responsibility are just words and that no one's going to believe him until he proves it with his actions. And this part I thought was really the most interesting. He said that he felt guilty for the position the Grizzlies were in, where of course they are out of the playoff chase right now. They had such a great start to the season last year, and it's basically completely the opposite this year. And frankly, that's for more reasons than John Morant being out. Um, but Obviously, he is the biggest cog in that wheel, and he has not been there for them. So I'm just interested. I was watching him talk, and I was kind of wondering, what, what's actually going on inside his head? Do, do you have a sense? Can you take us inside the head of an NBA star who the whole world is criticizing their behavior, and they he is in this position where he's got to prove it? What is that like? Um, it's a tough situation and, and it's, and it's super heavy on an individual. And the reason I can say that is, um, nobody in his life is exempt from growing pains. And John Moran is just another person going through his growing pains. Uh, the difference is his life is a fish, is, is a fishbowl, whereas everybody looking in at this one fish, you know what I mean? So through his growing pains, he gets criticized with every single step that he does wrong or right. And. I mean, for the most part, any kid growing up, when their parent talks to them too much or fusses at them too much, it, it becomes stressful. So imagine three million people on an everyday basis, you know, criticizing you, talking down on you, all of those things. So you have to realize at the end of the day, this is a young kid that's a human being. He bleeds and sleeps the same way everybody else does. So, uh, you know, I believe he deserves the grace that the next individual gets when it comes to growing pains or making yep. mistakes. So uh, he's a kid that's growing up. He's figuring life out. He made some mistakes. He's he's admitted to those mistakes. Now it's time to get him an opportunity to better those mistakes. I think through this 25-game suspension, um, he's he's been humbled. He's realized what's important to him. He's been able to prioritize the important things in his life. Um, mm -hmm. And it's also going to help him become a better man, a better father, and a better professional. So uh, – I think everything that's transpired is going to help in a positive way. Uh, I, I appreciate the comments of him being able to say, you know, I felt like the, the team is in this position because of me. That's a sign of accountability. That's a sign of a leader. Yeah. That's a sign of a guy that's realized I've messed up and I've let my guys down. And, you know, because of that, they're in a bad position. So uh, I think I think he comes out first game with a lot of fire. I think him returning to the team is the, you know, the perfect spark for this team to help them go on a, a, a run to put them back in position to, uh, you know, turn the season around. So uh, yeah. they're only five games out. Um, they have a great chance of making a play in. And I mean, if I'm first, second seed and I have to see this team first round, I'm scared. You know, this is a team that can beat any team on a nightly basis when they're healthy. And especially when a top 10 player is now back, you know, with this team. So, uh, and he is a top ten player. Let's let's not deny that. Let's not let you know a silly mistake say otherwise. You know what I mean? He's that dynamic. He's that electric. And we've seen it time and time again. What happens when John Moran is on this Grizzlies team? They're one of the most fun teams to watch, and they're a very very tough team to beat. So, um, you know, I hope things work out in this kid's favor. I'm a huge fan of him. I'm a huge fan of his talent. And um, you know, I. I can see through the mistakes, you know what I mean? Um, I know what it's like to, you know, fuck up as a young kid. I can see through all that. I can see this is a good kid mm -hmm. with a good heart. He just made some silly mistakes, and that's exactly what it should be labeled, a silly mistake. So let's move on, and uh, I'm excited for his mm -hmm. return. Get back on the floor and show the world the star that you are, kid.